J Drone here. This is my modded hex from MJX, and we got we're gonna get a bounded jumper, and we're just gonna go for a fly, man. Um, we're really not going for uh, anything crazy. We kind of did crazy yesterday. I'm waiting to upgrade my FPV setup. And this is just simple setup here. Camera, ran the battery, 3M everything down, even the camera underneath, 3M for better picture quality. All right, enjoy the flight, guys. All right, guys, check it out. Bottom right corner, that's my FPV DVR that we're showing. And then uh, the upper part, which is actually showing the underside of the arms, that's the camera that I have tucked underneath there. Uh, as you can see, we're getting a little bit of feedback in the bottom right. That's why I have the upper part. But the reason I'm meshing two of these together, even though they're showing them about the same thing, is because uh, this was not a smart FPV flight by me. If you're going to do an FPV flight and you're going to have external power going to your FPV camera, make sure it's charged. If you're going to have a run cam underneath recording the footage that way you don't get static make sure it's charged you want to make sure you have fresh batteries in your drone you want to make sure you have fre fresh batteries in your controller i only did half of this properly my controller and my drone had fresh batteries <laughs> um i was flying previous I, i've been flying with the little run cam underneath it for almost two days now and didn't think to charge it and uh, my battery on this is a smaller battery it's only good for about one and a half flights uh kicking out the kicking out the signal from my camera because i have it going out pretty strong and i didn't charge it on this flight either so bam there there the under cam just kicked out so now this is my FPV, this is my DVR, what recorded to my headset. You also want to make sure you have SD cards. If you go out and you don't have an SD card in, uh, in your DVR and you come back and you have no footage, you're going to be mighty salty. And check this, dude. That looked like it was fast forward, right? I promise you. On my word, that was not fast forward. And you're going to see that time and time and again, especially when we cruise past myself. The jumper has made this hexacopter a straight beast. I promise you that. Um, it's pitching is ridiculous, and the ridiculous pitching equals out to uh, faster speed. A uh, harder pitch rate is giving us more speed with this. And it, it's made for a really enjoyable drone to fly via FPV. I mean, granted, line of sight would definitely be enjoyable too. Uh, we could definitely do some line of sight flying, but I've been trying to gear into FPV, trying to get time behind the goggles because I want to fly. I want to be better in FPV. And just getting time behind the goggles once and sucking at it and quitting ain't going to happen. So we're, we're, we're putting in work to get a little bit better with the FPV. And uh, if you want to get an FPV, I suggest you do the same thing right now we are behind ourselves, and uh, you can see the little road right there the whole reason I actually went behind myself right there is I heard snow crunching so I was kind of looking behind myself to see if I seen anybody and I didn't see nobody but right here we're gonna whiz past ourselves. nope not that time because I was kind of buzz around okay uh, I'm getting my bearings here trying to remember my flight we do whiz past ourselves from that angle and the speed that we go past yourself is ridiculous. And again, this speed that I'm showing you here is this is coming from a brush toy grade. Uh, not only a brush toy grade, this is uh, not direct fed either. This is uh, small gear to large gear. So it, it's a, it's a brush motor being brushed on gears, feeding those propellers. And this is getting excellent performance. It's getting excellent excellent flights uh as far as responsiveness here's going to be the zoom by so again we're behind ourselves, and we're just going to dart past ourselves. wait for it wait for it wait to see me i mean you can kind of see me there wait for it getting close round gone <laughs> um i can't i can't speak highly enough about this jumper i really can't uh, one it eliminates a lot of my controllers me having to find a lot of my controllers where i'm going to start to grab my controllers and make space in my drone room where I'm just going to store them. I'm going to store the controllers that are programmed into this controller because I will no longer need them. I'll no longer need a massive amount of JJRC controllers, SEMA controllers, uh, the various uh, MGX controllers that I've bound to this, the other controllers that I've figured out the protocol. Why do I need those controllers sitting around collecting dust and gathering space? I don't. And the it, those drones on this jumper, one, we're gonna get more range, and two, we're gonna get more flyability, more stats. We're gonna get we're gonna get better flyability with. So uh, that's dude. I again can't speak enough on this jumper. We did a range test yesterday, 300 meters, 300 meters on 30 milliwatts out of this controller when it goes up to 150, and that was not max range. That was my max FPV range. And right here, we're just gonna kind of uh, chill up here and do a light light downgrade. And we are trying to downgrade, and guess what? 
our feed cut out. Guys, I'm Jay Drum. Make sure your batteries are charged. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Have a wonderful day and take care.